end here is to analyze the path of a moving vehicle, such as a forklift. And if this brings it near to a pedestrian, then it logs an instant report. And if needed, it provides a warning in real time to the driver and the pedestrian. Okay, so the second uh, use case is looking at uh, uh, social distancing. And this is what we introduced as, uh, as a result of COVID. Uh, so we're trying to work out whether or not we have a situation here. Uh, people who are violating the face mask standards are, are outlined in red. And the accuracy of our models is good enough to be able to differentiate between different ambiguous situations in that space. So this is a particular, this particular example is from construction. And we're checking for our, our people wearing yellow vests and helmets. In other industries, we could check for other PP equipment, could be safety glasses or ear protection or, or life jackets. Uh, this is another situation that we have. So this is where the RS product uh, can use uh, information over a period of time to, to understand the situation. So here we're using it to understand footfall in a retail scenario, uh, logging when people go in or out of a particular area and therefore keeping a headcount of uh, within that zone. Uh, the other things that we do is looking at uh, detecting hazardous situations. Uh, so this film shows fires being set deliberately and within seconds we're able to sort of recognize. Okay, looking at uh, another hazardous situation, working at height. Uh, once again, the clip shows two different use cases. The first in the center of the picture is about machine guarding. So we're detecting whether there's some heavy machinery in use and if there's a worker in dangerous proximity to it while it's switched on. Case is about procedural compliance. Uh, there's been an attempt to divert workers away from the uh, heavy machinery by putting a guide path on the, on the ground in paint. Clearly that's not worked as the workers are seen cutting the corner and you can see them outlined in red to, to indicate that they violated that. Um, this one is looking at uh, vehicles in, in a car park uh, and we could be checking for a lot of different things here. So we can check for parking compliance and you can see that there's a, a truck parked between docks four and five, clearly uh, violating parking standards. We can check for speed of vehicles in the yard. Uh, we could be checking for proper equipment on the trucks. So for instance, we're checking here for refrigeration units on the truck because we may be carrying uh, temperature sensitive goods or we could have it uh, checking for a, an external fire extinguisher attached to the vehicle if we're, if we're detect if we're carrying flammable goods. Okay we have uh, I guess the, the third area for COVID here and this is looking at, at temperature checks so if you do have a thermal cape uh, this last uh, one I don't have clips for but uh, you, I'll just go through them verbally. Uh, the machine guarding uh, we can sort of detect very quickly uh, from the CCTV feed whether something's happening. And we can do that uh, you know, within about 70 milliseconds of an event occurring. Most of that 